Happy Friday. Red Friday. Where we remember everyone deployed, R-E-D. I wear red every Friday. Somehow. Red hat, something. A little windy, a little nasty outside today. So I decided uh, I'll just sit here in front of the dummy screen. Right here at my desk. Talk about stop bugging me. You have that discussion a lot? Hmm? I sit there for hours on the computer. Spaced out. Not aware of your family. Your friends. Maybe your Facebook friends. People in your life love you. You're not aware of them. Because you choose not to be. You know what? You're not even aware of yourself. You can go and think about anything you want. Because you're all alone. With thousands of people to talk to. But you're all alone. Maybe your kids are in school right now. It's 1 p.m. at Eastern. Maybe the grandkids are down for their nap. And you're just sitting there. Where you are every day. Maybe I have a beer. Maybe I'll toke up. What if it didn't have to be that way? What if you could lose the words, stop bugging me? You use those words a lot? A whole lot of people do. I'm here to tell you, it's a choice. Now you just laughed, didn't you? Yes, yeah, choice. What's this fool know? I know. I've stood on the top of a 28-story building on the edge of the roof. Perfectly calm, comfortable, beautiful day, no wind. I know what it's like to tell the person in my life who loves me very much, stop bugging me. Your Excellency Kasim is here. Stop bugging me. That's what we're talking about. Why can't it just stop? Why can't I just stop thinking about this thing? Right? Why won't the movie player shut off? Because you don't know where the on off switch is. Yes. In my research over the last six and a half years, I found the on off switch for people over and over and over again. And then I taught other people to go help other people. And then I taught, taught some of them to teach. On off switch exists. You have the ability to shut off conscious thought, conscious repetitive thoughts. Problem is, you don't know where it is. And until now, you probably didn't know that it existed. Because until I found it with somebody in a CR session, I didn't know it existed. Elijah, welcome, bub. We're talking about stop bugging me. We're talking about waking up three in the morning in a cold sweat your hands on the love of your life. And her screaming at you. Wake up. Please wake up. Those are repetitive behaviors, my friends. 
Repetitive behavior. Behaviors can be modified. Ask any scientist, any behavioral health person, anyone who's studied um, Lovinsky's uh, emotions. Pavlov was really good. 100 years ago now, about this time, 100 years ago, he was experimenting with behaviors of dogs. He conditioned dogs to salivate on demand by showing them a photograph of a bowl of food, a bowl, their bowl of their food. And then after a while, just showing them dog food made the dog salivate. Behaviors. Behaviors can be modified. It takes conscious choices. Up until now, repetitive behavior, cellular regression is Brand new, my friends. It's really gone uh, forward in just three and a half years. We're in now in 12 countries on five continents, including 24 U.S. states, my friends. Okay, it's getting big. Because we're helping people online. Right here, like you're watching right now. Let me tell you, it works. I can't do the process on myself. So at first I had to realize that I could help other people, but I cannot help myself. Because I must stay in conscious thought and track what I'm doing in order to produce the results I get. And that is counter to what we do. Those of you who are suffering from multiple repetitive behaviors, smoking, Alcoholism, self-sabotage, those are pretty common. Post-traumatic stress of any kind, doesn't matter if you're a combat, non-combat veteran, non-veteran. PTS is PTS, my friends. And the movie won't shut off. How about suicide ideation? Stop bugging me. I just want to be alone. I just want to be by myself. I just want to be with my demons. We don't have to. That's a choice. Behavior is about choice. Now here's the difference, and hear me clearly. Hear me clearly. Repetitive behavior, cellular regression, helps you find that on-off switch. It's being hidden from you, and has been since early childhood. All of you guys that are viewing this today, write me a comment. I'd love to uh, say back to you. To those of you who are here, thank you. Simone, Kathy, I've already mentioned Elijah, Kisleen. We're talking about Matt, don't bug me. Let me be in my own depression. Depression's a behavior too, my friends. All the drugs in the world will not change that. Okay. There are some great temporary fixes out there. Tapping. It's a great one. I have an admirer, a friend of mine, uh, who travels the United States, puts on big events about uh, emotional freedom technique, EFT, tapping. EMDR is great. Most psychotherapy is great. There isn't any that I would not say doesn't work. However, if you don't do CR first and find the driver, they can't help you. Then situationally after that, they can help you. I use some of the techniques. I've been helped. I trained a master who's ever been as good as I am, and she's brand new at this, and she's going to be so much better than I am. So I already have recognized that in some of my practitioners and a couple of my master practitioners. They will be better at, at repetitive behavior, cellular regression than I am. And that's good. That means CR will perpetuate long after I'm gone. I'm 63 years old. I'm not middle-aged yet in my mind. But I'm here to tell you to reach out with regular stories 
Now, things are not going to change until you make the decision that you're at that point in life where enough is enough. And you get mad that enough is enough. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not getting drunk tonight. I'm not down in that fifth whiskey. I'm not doing 20 bowls tonight. Enough is enough. www.evolutionaryhealer.com The CR process is where enough is enough stops. We're the only place in the world. Who am I? That's what your deflectors are telling you right now. Who's this guy? I'm a service disabled veteran. I've tried to commit suicide. I've got to the point where it's go or no go. A little voice in the back of my head. Take it, that voice for whatever you want to make it. it. Says, step back. I have work for you. I have followed that journey ever since. It was 2010. Now I'm helping people all over the world. I'm helping a lot. I've just helped lifelong alcoholic stop thinking about drinking yeah a 16 year old high school student with PTSD three to five anxiety attacks per day for two and a half months prior to going through the CR process that was over two years ago hasn't had one since not one Combat vets with PTSD, complex PTSD, for those of you who know what that means, suffered through military sexual trauma, been raped in the military, and got caught in the throes of committing suicide. That's the only reason that she found me. None of that's happened since. It's all stopped. EvolutionaryHealer.com, the CR process. Google me. Do a Bing search on me. Terry Earthwind Nichols. Now you guys are writing stuff and I don't have my glasses on. I'll, I'll address it right afterwards, I promise. Terry Earthwind Nichols. You can find out anything you want to know about me. I'm an open book. LinkedIn, Facebook. Yes, I even wrote a book, an e-book. It's over at uh, Amazon. Earthwind, book one, The Journey Begins. I'm here to help you. My people are here to help you. It doesn't matter if I'm sitting here in Asheville and you're in New York City. Or for that matter, Bangkok, Thailand. I've helped people all over the world, sitting right here in Asheville, Peru, Japan, Germany, United Kingdom, Canada, Mexico, all over the United States. Sitting right here. Any time of the day or night. That's what we do to help people. I've been in CR session at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Worked all day for you because you got to a point where enough is enough. I'm not doing this anymore. So, small peep, small group, but I'm here for you 24 7. Right here on Facebook. PM me. I'm Terry Earthwind Nichols. PM me. I have a special gong bell on my phone that I can hear it 24-7 even when I'm asleep it'll wake me up I'll talk to you I'm human like anybody else I may not hear it some nights I, I sleep soundly I'll get to you as soon as I can 
maybe one of my people who are answering the phones will. Enough is enough. Stop bugging me. Well, stop bugging yourself. You get to make a choice right now. Turn this video off and go find me or my website and my people. Well, you can just sit there and do nothing. Or maybe get up and go get another bottle. Soak another bowl. Nothing's going to change until you do. Once you make the conscious decision, that this is it. And there is no more. When you come to us, everything, nothing changes. Nothing can change. Nothing will change. For those of you who have been in psychotherapeutic treatment for however many years, my alcoholic was in 22 years. Once a week, see the, seeing his psychologist for 22 years. Not the same psychologist, but a psychologist. Every week. Three weeks after he went through the CR session, he no longer sees his psychologist. Now, a few months later, he's taken off the automatic role. Life is good for him. He's learning to become a practitioner, and he's going to do the good work. You can learn to be a practitioner too, but you've got to go through the CR process first. Because you've got to know from the inside what we do. We get to help you find that lost amnesic memory in early childhood. And this all is around that one event that you cannot remember. You have no recall about. You may think it is being abused at four years old. If you can remember it sitting here right now watching this, it is not the reason. I guarantee you it is not the reason. You have amnesia around a memory way back there. We help you find that. Thank you all for being here with me today. Please share this message. There are people you know and love that need to hear this. Have a good weekend. Reach out to me if you're ready. Bye-bye for now. See you Monday.